Every full moon, thousands, literally thousands of people from all over the world gather in this small Indian village which triples the size to walk around the sacred mountain for 24 hours. This is not just a simple mountain, it is believed it is the god Shiva himself. And why is it so attractive to so many people? They say that any question you ask on that pilgrimage will be answered. So we decided to walk this peculiar path and to find out all answers to many of our questions. It's already ten o'clock. <laughs> Baby, today is the day, eh? Today is the day of the Girivala, of the pilgrimage in Tiruvannamalai, when apparently all the questions that you ask will be answered. And apparently Erika has no question to ask. <laughs> Yeah, should we go and see what's going on? Mm. Erika, wake up! There are three important places in Tiruvannamalai. The first one is the mountain Arunachala, which is believed to be more ancient than the Himalayas and where Shiva himself manifested as a pillar of fire. There is a Shiva temple, which the city is built around and where the pilgrimage starts and ends. And the third is an ashram of Ramana Maharshi, contemporary sage who was teaching about self-discovery, inquiring, who am I? In the morning of the pilgrimage, which started at 5 p.m. late in that evening, we decided to avoid already busy streets and discover meditation caves in the mountain. and in the same time discover why we do this pilgrimage.
this is more of a silent walk so if you want to get out from the busy streets and thousands of people this would be a good choice so come take your shoes off and walk inside Let's do picture with yours or with mine. One, two, three, boom! That's mine. <laughs> now you, eh? So the plan is not to plan. The plan is just just, just to go and maybe walk all day, all night, so maybe walk just a bit, like one circle, maybe walk until the dawn. What do you think? We'll see. We will see. We will see. We will see. What to expect? Let's flow. And we're just about to uh, join the main street and we can already see people walking and they're walking, you know, and there's many of them constantly We decided to count the people that are passing in front of us during the one minute so we make and we can take like an overview of how many people is here so let's start
So I think it's around 10 people per second. 10 people per second, which gives you an idea of 600 people a minute. We were tired of crowds and noises, cars and people and, and pushing and pulling, tired. But we could feel that something was changing. All these prayers, sacrifice and never-ending chant made us unite with the crowd. And the division of us and people disappeared and there was only one unity. Chapati. Chapati. Two hours already behind and we're still walking. Eric has mentioned in some food. Let's see. Time to come back, 12.15 and we already be tired, we did one entire round, Om Namah Shivaya. Six hours. Six hours. The vibe is here, eh? Look at that. And what are going to do? They're going to walk for another 20 hours. Wow. Powerful stuff this is, eh? Powerful is gonna be the bed. And tomorrow we will tell you what answer did we get. Because we got some answers on this walk. Good night. It's 8.22. How are you, Erika? Every part of my body is hurting. But I'm fine. My feet. <laughs> hey, we're a bit tired. But let's go down to the business. What do you think about this pilgrimage? It was interesting seeing so many people walking barefoot. So many people walking at the same time, chanting, socializing, eating, laughing, um, praying to the moon, to the full moon. 
And did you get any answer from the questions that you asked? <clears throat> I didn't get any answer, but I think that when you ask some questions, you're not supposed to get the reply straight away. You get it when you're ready, no? I truly believe that the answers will come and the questions will come with the right time. And yesterday I had no questions and no answers. And today, you know what? We're going to live in the spirit of Arunachala in Tiruvannamalai, just here.